Hey guys. Okay, we also have a new station for number four. You have your red cone over here, your green cone on that side, and it's way out by the backstop. Okay, so when you come in, you'll go line up at that green cone over there and wait for the yard supervisor to call you over to the activity, which is over at the backstop. And now I'll explain how that works. Okay, when you come out to this station, once the yard duty or whoever's running the station calls you from the green cone, you will come over here and get into six even lines. There will be a soccer ball sitting next to each of the cones, and you're gonna try to hit the targets that are up on the backstop. Now, if you're at these two far cones, you're gonna try to hit the targets that are directly across from you, okay? Now, I mean, you can hit any of the targets, it would count, but those are the ones you're gonna aim for. If you're the two middle cones, you're gonna aim for the middle targets that are in the middle section. If you're in these two far cones behind these lines, you will be trying to hit the targets that are directly across from you. But if you hit any of the targets, you will get points. Now, if you hit the actual target, you get five points. If you hit the hula hoop that's around it, you get three points, okay? So when you come over here, you'll take, make six even lines and you will wait for the yard duty or whoever's running the station to tell you when to go. Now at this station, again, you cannot touch any equipment with your hands. No soccer balls can be touched with your hands. So you make the line and you don't wanna be right at the cone. The soccer balls will be placed there, but before you kick it, move it over. So you have plenty of space to back up and then kick it, okay? But the important part is you have to wait for the yard duty or whoever's running the station to tell you when to go. Because if everyone kicks at different times and they're all up getting their ball at different times, that's when kids are gonna get hit or get hurt. We don't want that happening. So one, no hands. Two, you listen to whoever's running the station. So you're in lines, the lines will be back here and you're waiting, okay? As soon as the yard duty or whoever's running the station says, ready, go. The first person in line runs up and they try to kick it, okay? Boom. Oh, I hit a target. You wait though, wherever your ball is, you wait until everyone is kicked and then the yard duty says, okay, ready, go get your ball. Even if you miss the entire backstop, you have to still go get your ball. No hands though, you dribble it back. So when I say ready, go, I go run over, get my ball, dribble it back, give it to the next person that was in line, and then I go to the end of that line. Now you can switch lines so you can aim for different targets, totally up to you, but try to make them even so you get more reps, okay? So again, no hands, the next person would stand up there, they would wait, when the yard duty says ready, go, then you all six kick at the same time. Now, if you want it to go higher, you're gonna need to kick it to where your foot is under the ball. So you kick your foot under the ball and then carry, follow through with your foot and it will go higher up for the higher targets. All right, good luck, have fun. Remember though, no hands. You cannot touch the soccer balls with your hands. And at the end of the activity, when they blow the whistle and everyone freezes, no more kicking the ball, you're frozen. Then you go get the ball without your hands, dribble it back, place it next to the cone, and then you will go line up at the red cone to wait for your teacher to come pick you up. Okay, have fun, good luck.